welcome to race 5 of 10 at Charlotte Motor Speedway for the Aflac Cup Series. We apologize for the year and a half delay. That is how long it's been basically since we did have done a race. But we are back and ready for action. Now looking back here is a quick um, run by of what has happened so far in the season. Here's race one in Martinsville. You see Kevin Harvick get under his teammate Tony Stewart there to take the win. Tony Stewart finishes third. And now here's race two in Atlanta. The two Penske cars there are up front. Not going to work together here because Brad Kozlowski and that number two trying to hold off his teammate Joey Logano. You see the block right there. And not going to be enough. Brad Kozlowski is going to win race two in Atlanta. Giving him some major bonus points there. Race 3 at Bristol. Okay, for our second short, short track stop of the season. Tony Stewart, you see him running up there. Brad Kozlowski moves into the picture in front of his teammate Joey Logano. And Tony Stewart takes the win. So, then one week later was race 4 at Talladega Super Speedway. You can see Jeff Gordon holding off everyone. But below the tire, gets spun out on the final turn of the race. And here it comes for a photo finish. Paul Menard holding off Jimmy Johnson and Austin Dillon to take the win. So after four races, moving into race five, here are your point standings. Joey Logano up front. He hasn't gotten a win yet, but he will be looking for one as he is first place for finishing in the top five in those four races, followed by Tony Stewart seven points behind him. Okay, Dale Earnhardt Jr. is still looking for a good finish. I mean, he's running 10th, but hasn't gotten a top 5 yet. He will be starting on the pole today, so we'll see what he can do. Ryan Newman there in the back. He's been having some real trouble looking for even a top 10 to, get, to settle in for a championship. But here are two guys that are joining the series today. For their very first race will be Denny Hamlin in the 11 and Martin Truex Jr. in the 78, who will be starting, unfortunately, last due to engine failures in qualifying. So on row one will be a couple of Hendrick cars, Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Jeff Gordon. Row two, Joey Logano and Denny Hamlin. Row three, Kevin Harvick and Austin Dillon. Row four, Jamie McMurray and Kurt Busch. Row five, Casey Kane and Brad Keselowski. Row six, Ryan Newman and Danica Patrick, row 7. Jimmy Johnson and Kyle Busch, row 8. Paul Menard, your last race winner. And Ricky Stenhouse Jr., row 9. Greg Biffle and Tony Stewart, row 10. David Reagan and Clint Foyer. And to round it up in the back on row 11, Martin Truix Jr. So your race details. This is an 8-lap race. There are 21 drivers, and this is the FedEx 500 at Charlotte. So here we go, green flag in the air. Dale Jr. looking good up front. He pulled ahead, lap two now. Joey Logano gonna try to get around it. Denny Hamlin running third. Dale Jr. still pulling up ahead and here we go, round turn onto the backstretch. And the yellow is out. Tony Stewart hits the wall hard, bringing out the first caution of the day halfway through the race. Tony Stewart, let's, uh, he was trying to pass him guys, he did in the, a uh, few laps that we have already run. But we're going to have to look at a replay and see what went wrong. I believe someone came up to him and pushed him into the wall. You see Tony Stewart there in the middle of your screen on the left top with Casey Kane under him. Sorry, we can't get a better view. This is our only camera view for right now. You see Casey Kane just came up a little too high, pushing Tony Stewart into the wall and giving him some damage on the right rear. Green flag once again in Charlotte. Dale Jr. is still in the lead, with Joey Logano going to try his best to take over the lead. Okay, so Denny Hamlin trying to move up to second. Austin Dillon has a good run. Joey Logano falling back a little bit. It is the last lap of racing on this green line checkered. And Jeff Gordon spins out on the back. And Denny Hamlin spins across the line to win it here at, the, at Charlotte for the FedEx 500. And your finishing order is Denny Hamlin in just his first start in the Affleck Cup Series. Then Dale Warner Jr., Austin Dillon finishing third for the second time in a row. Joey Logano finishing fourth for his second time in a row. Then Kevin Harvick, Jamie McMurray, Brad Kozlowski, J 
Jimmy Johnson, Kurt Busch, Kyle Busch, the two Bush, bro, Bush brothers right there, Casey Kane, Ryan Newman, Martin Truex Jr. moved up a lot since the start of the race, Clint Boyer, Paul Menard, your last race winner, and then the Reds. Tony Stewart was able to pass David Reagan and Jeff Gordon since, his, um, since he brought out the caution. Jeff Gordon finished last for wrecking. And on the last lap, and there is Denny Hamlin, your race winner in victory lane. Not being able to do donuts across the stripe on the finish at the finish line because of wrecking on the last lap. So we went to victory lane with damage. Wow, that's always exciting. And there he is. This will definitely give him a good start to the season and a big energy boost and confidence. The 11 car in victory lane, Denny Hamlin and our Cristobal is in the middle of it all for the celebration. And now here are your point standings. After five races, Joey Logano still with in the lead with 83 points. Kevin Harvick now second after, um, from moving up from third to second with 16 points behind first. Then Austin Dillon, Kyle Busch, Jimmy Johnson started the race fifth in points, comes out of the race fifth in points, 27 points behind first place. Brad Kozlowski, Tony Stewart fell back from second to seventh in points after one race from having a bad finish today. You see Martin Truex Jr., unfortunate for him, 78 points behind first place in last place for that um, for having a bad start not being able to make his way towards the front of the field today. All right, so that does it for Charlotte. Next week, for race six, we'll be coming to you from Richmond. Richmond Motor Speedway for our third short track stop of the season. Race one was at Martinsville. Race three was at Bristol. Well, now race six is at Richmond. Then, for race seven, we'll be coming... To you from Pocono, the last race in the regular season. Then it's time for the chase for the cup for race 8 of Daytona. Then race 9 in New Hampshire. And then to close off our season with a big race, it is race 10 at Indianapolis, which holds a lot of history to stock car racing. Well, that just about does it. We hope you enjoyed today's race coverage, and we'll see you all next week. See you later.